Well, good evening, and welcome again to the 2012fad.com. Glad you could join us tonight. I will be your host for this evening. My name is Charlie Bluehawk. Last night we talked about the USA Enter a Cave, Go to Prison program, and how our masters, the elite, the Committee of 300, the Olympians, know that the event is coming, that the event is here, and have already built massive mega cities inside the surface of the earth with our money, and how they still need, as all the super rich do, poor people to protect them from, well, us, the scum of the earth. And how, if you enter a cave in the USA, you will be arrested and put into federal prison. Why? Because you might just discover that there's an entire support mechanism right under the surface of the earth, right under your feet. And you and your family are not invited. Or, if you're big into backpack mini-nukes after you've uh, blown up the Twin Towers in New York with them, and you've got a couple to spare, you can cause a nuclear blast at Yellowstone National Park and cause the extinction of all life on Earth way ahead of schedule, which, of course, would piss off our masters big time. Our masters want the honor, the privilege, of wiping out all life on Earth with fire, their favorite killing tool, by using their harp system. But, you know, we've talked about that. They want to call their god, their Satan, back to Earth, sit on the throne of, of the Earth, then throw him down and take his place and become gods themselves. Again, sort of hard to deal with people who think like this. My guess is they really don't care about us or our planet. It's just a hunch I have when I think about their plans. Tonight I thought we would talk about, chat about, oxygen. Or rather the lack of oxygen that we live in or try to live without today. As we talked about in previous episodes after the last event, after our Earth was dry cleaned, we had a wonderful world to live in. We had a very high magnetic field. As the brown, dead brown dwarf star moves away from us, the Earth's natural magnetic field restores itself. And we have a very high oxygen content, and there are no poisons left to hurt us. As a consequence, we live very long, very healthy lives, and we make very healthy, very happy babies. And we still make lots of babies, which is why today there are now 7 billion of us living on this world. And as we pollute everything needlessly, because our masters arrange it that way, the levels of oxygen are, are again down to dangerously low levels, and our magnetic field is almost non-existent, since the dead brown dwarf star is back as it is every 32,000 years. It's amazing what can grow in a low oxygen environment. Cancer, for example. Cancer is actually a fungus that thrives in a zero oxygen environment. Did you know, for example, that parts of your body can be completely oxygen free? No, it's true. And it's in these parts of your body where cancers thrive and grow. If you want to be technical and fancy, it's the difference between an aerobic condition, where there is oxygen present, versus an anaerobic condition, where there's no oxygen at all. So, how can parts of your body have no oxygen at all? Sadly, that's pretty easy. First, you eat lots of poisons. A trip to McDonald's will take care of that. Now you drink lots of alcohol. You go to the doctor for every little problem you, you can have or think of, and they prescribe for you a cocktail of petroleum-based drugs. You go out and you party all night, not getting any sleep. You don't drink water. Instead, you drink Coca-Cola, which is actually liquid cocaine. And you cook with Teflon. Teflon, which is aluminum. And with every swallow, tiny, minute particles of Teflon, particles of aluminum, enter your body, attach onto your flesh, and stay there, leaching poison into your system. Aluminum poisoning. And... You eat foods filled with plastic filler, and that has no nutritional value at all. Artificial colorings, artificial sweeteners, which are just left-handed molecules similar to battery acid. And you don't exercise. Exercise might have helped you at this point, really. Anything to get oxygen into you, anything to get your circulation moving. So there you are, filled with plastics and poison, bad circulation, and no sleep. And then you're filled with artificial nicotine and artificial formaldehyde, which is already preserving your tissues from rotting, for after you're finally dead and buried. And you get that from American-made cigarettes. 
and, of course, enough petroleum-based chemicals, Western medical drugs, to shut down any hope that your body had ever hoped to have to actually do its job, which is, of course, to provide you with a home while you're here in this world. So, yes, it's really easy to have parts of your body where no oxygen can get. And that is where the fungus we call cancer grows, in zero oxygen. Same with the man-made disease, AIDS. Last time I checked, there were either 600 or 900 variations of the AIDS virus, which in nature is, you know, pretty much impossible. And where does AIDS grow best? Yes, you guessed it. Zero oxygen environment. This is why gay men in the States who dedicate themselves to looking good by weightlifting have lived for years with AIDS, with no effects at all. While other folks who are not into exercise have wasted away and, and have died. So, get the body moving, get the oxygen into the body, the oxygen will do the rest. This is why ozone therapy, and ozone is oxygen on steroids. Ozone is good at treating cancer and AIDS. But this time, the only people we can blame for your having cancer or AIDS is you. Why? You are lazy. You are stupid. You are selfish. And I mean that in a nice way. Well, sort of. You get sick because you eat poisons. You take drugs, legal or otherwise. You smoke cigarettes. You drink. You don't get any sleep and you don't exercise. So yes, you're stupid. What can you do if you get sick? Well, here's a checklist for those of you who are not paying attention to this or any other of our little chats. Get eight hours of sleep a night. Eat organic foods. No fast foods. Drink lots of water. Take mega vitamins. Vitamin C, vitamin AD, which is fish oil, 2,000 milligrams of each three times a day. No alcohol, no smoking, no drugs, legal or otherwise. Walk to work. Walk up and down the stairs. Stop watching TV. Stop reading the newspaper. Buy a magnetic pad to sleep on at night. Buy an ozone generator for your office, your car, and for your bedroom. There you go. First, you need to stop poisoning your body and your mind. Second, you need to get oxygen in you need to get oxygen into your body. Exercise is the best and cheapest way. Now, if you're too far gone at this point, you have my sympathies. If you've already undergone chemotherapy or radiation therapy, I'm very sorry. I'm so sorry. Nothing can be done for you. They've already killed you. You're already dead. If, instead, you're still avoiding Western medicine and good for you, go online and find doctors in countries other than the USA and schedule an ozone treatment. Usually takes two weeks worth of ozone therapy and then you'll be fine. Until, of course, you start smoking again. Until you start drinking again until you start partying again, until you start eating at McDonald's again. Did I say stupid? Yeah, I guess I did. You may have noticed that this topic makes me really angry because of so many people have died that I could have helped if I had known, or if, and this is really the hard part, if they would have listened. They would not have listened, of course, but it still makes me mad. It also makes me mad when parents have a brand new baby and allow the hospital to inject this perfect, clean, healthy little person with mercury-filled, formaldehyde-filled vaccines, which also have aspartame in them. The vaccines are themselves the filthiest, dirtiest concoctions known to man. It's like somebody sweeped up whatever was left on the lab floor and put it into a hypodermic syringe and shoved it into your baby. And then to top it all off, the circumcising of baby boys, which will, in their adult lives, cut their ability to enjoy sex by half. And will also mark them as slaves, as cattle of the masters, holdover from ancient Babylonian traditions. Anyway, at the village, we will be living in a high oxygen, high magnetic environment without any poisons, with lighting that flickers at 528 megahertz per second, which is the optimum for health and vitality. 
We will have ozone generators, electro medicine devices that will keep us healthy, happy, and making happy and healthy babies. We'll be drinking fresh water and eating clean food. And we will not miss you. For all of us here at the 2012fad.com, this is Charlie Bluehawk, wishing you a really good day and reminding you, please, just keep one good thought. It may be all that you have. The 2012 FAD is brought to you by Coffee and Blood, Love Letters Between the Dead, a series of five erotica horror novels about a fallen angel finding his way back to regain his own soul, and how the CIA war against the human race. Their black magic captures and traps him in the body of a mind-controlled slave designed to hunt down and to kill their god, their Satan.